Hello everyone and welcome to a short little snack size video in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. In this episode we're going to actually think about something that was asked during one of my uh, live streams, in fact last night's live stream at the time of this recording. And someone asked if it's possible or rather how do we make a camera fixed in that we can't make it look past a certain point and uh, kind of fix the camera face in one way. So um, we tried it out on the stream um, but after some investigation I have now found the correct solutions for this so I thought I'd share that with all of you. So the way we do this is inside the camera manager so to do that we're going to put onto our first person character so this is the, where the game character is uh, controlled here and we can simply get the camera manager. Now the camera manager is a class that is uh, does what it says basically it manages the cameras or specifically the camera that the player is currently viewing for you and once we've got the reference to the player's camera manager we can get that out and we can set the your min and max so if I choose max here I'm going to change this value here to 90 and what that means is at the maximum your I can turn basically right 90 degrees from facing forward so I can just turn directly to the right and that's all and we could also set the your min okay. set your min and this would be minus 90 because we want it also to cap off the same angle but to the left and click compile and show you that so now I'm facing forward if I look to the left, I can no longer look any more to the left, 90 degrees, same here as well. So I am capped of how I can move my control. And we can refine that further um, but just by changing the value here. So if I change this to say 45 and this to minus 45, like so, we now get much more narrower sort of control and this allows us to do all sorts of things like turret controls for example are very useful for this and we can do this for all the other angles as well so we've got that's your but we can also do it for say the pitch so we go pitch maximum and we can say maximum of uh, let's say 30 and I can now no longer look all the way up it caps me off and I'll do the same for the underneath. It should be exactly the same node, but minus 30 instead. Set pitch min. And this would be minus 30. So now I've got it capped like so. I get a much more narrower field of view. Really cool and really useful for various things. As I say, turrets are number one choice when you think about these sort of things. Now this can get quite unseemly, so what might be a good idea is to set up your own function or your own macro to handle this. So, for example, let's make a function and we'll call this one uh, clamp view. And we can give it uh, three inputs. So we can go a float of your angle and make that a float and add another one for pitch angle like so we don't need to do roll because um, we're not rolling the camera at all so we click compile and we're just going to copy and paste all that stuff over to clamp view and so your max will use your angle Ooh. min and the other one, pitch, will go into those nodes, like so. So if we ever wanted the game to clamp the view, we just call the clamp view uh, function we just made, and we can now type in a value that we want to clamp it to. So I could change the value of the yaw to be, say, 50 degrees, and pitch to be, um, uh, let's say, another 50 as well. Inside our camp view, one thing I forgot to do is we've got the your. Uh, let's make this a bit tidier actually. Let's do a sequence and make this a bit tidier. Sequence 
and what a sequence to do is then zero go first and do that one just connect that and then these ones will go to then one like so and we don't need to actually connect it from there if you don't like the idea of all the lines going across the page like so you can just so get these uh, parameters through just through get, uh, normal get so your angle you can get your angle and to get the set uh, for the minimum we need to inverse the angle which is negative and that's done by simply just multiplying it by another float and that would be minus one again multiply by a float get minus one into your pitch min compile that and let's test that out and there you go so you can now call that function whenever you need to clamp the player's view just by calling a simple function and that's it simple quick and easy um thank you very much for watching uh, in this exercise video if you like this video and want to see more of them head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan Ailey, where you find loads more videos just like this um early before anyone else on youtube there, there's also discord access and many other features as well like project files timelines of videos uh voting so many things as well so thanks very much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe and i'll uh, see you all next time bye bye